Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Pack and Go feature of PowerPoint allows you to take a presentation that you've created, including all of the linked files and fonts, and save it to a compressed file format that you can then extract and present on another computer. You can even include a PowerPoint viewer for those people that don't have PowerPoint installed on their machines so that they can view the presentation as well. To pack and go your presentation, you can open up the presentation to pack and then just choose File from the menu bar, Pack and Go. That launches the Pack and Go wizard. Just answer the questions that the wizard will pose to you on each screen and click Next to continue through the screens until you're finished. So when we click Next, it asks which presentation we'd like to package. You may choose the active presentation or you can check other presentations and click browse to go find another presentation to package. Usually we want to just package the active presentation so make sure that's checked and click next. Here you select where they should be copied and you will usually choose a destination and click the browse button to decide where you would like to pack the files in. and just click Select, click Next. It can include linked files and fonts, so I would recommend checking both linked files and fonts and click Next. If you need to give the presentation on a computer that does not have PowerPoint installed, you can choose to include the viewer for Windows 95 or NT. Click Next. And then it reviews your options, and at this point, when you're done, just click Finish. That will begin packing your presentation to the selected destination. Many times the presentation won't fit on a single floppy disk, so you may need to store it to a zip disk or then burn it onto a recordable CD. Now wherever you pack the presentation to, it creates an executable file that will then unpack the presentation. It will also then include a packed presentation file. So you may want to save the packed files into their own folder or a floppy disk. Now when you want to run the presentation in the future, you have to find where you actually packed it to. And inside that folder, there's going to be a file called PNG Setup for Pack and Go Setup, and it'll be a .exe extension. It's an executable. So to actually unpack it, double click the PNG setup file and that will go through the process of unpacking the presentation. At this point I would have to put in the directory into which I wanted it to store the unpacked presentation and usually this is something that you have to do on the remote computer once you've actually moved it. and then click OK. Once it's successfully installed, it asks if you'd like to run the slideshow. You may then click Yes, and it'll actually step through the presentation. And that's it to using Pack and Go. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.